Barbara Banda, a Zambian footballer shot into the limelight when she registered two hat-tricks in the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. This made her the first woman to have two hat-tricks and the first to ever score two hat-tricks in one tournament. This performance got her a move to the Chinese Super League club, Shanghai Shengli, where she scored 18 goals in 13 appearances for her new club. Zambia has a gem, but that has been given a stall, with the Confederation of African Football ruling her ineligibility to play based on gender verification tests. Yes, we all agree that men and women are different. Australian women's national team, who were ranked number five in the world at the time, yeah. lost 7-0 to a team of 15-year-old boys. Oh. Women will never beat men at football. That is why we have men's football and women's football. But here lies the great controversy. Barbara was ruled out because pre tournament tests revealed that she has high natural testosterone levels that exceed the legal limits as set by football governing bodies. The CAF rules on testosterone levels are in line with the guidelines set by the World Football Governing Body, FIFA. This is a great controversy because though having high testosterone levels, she is not a man. A high testosterone level count in a woman does not make her a man. Both men and women produce testosterone, but men produce it more. There are situations where a woman can have high testosterone levels. Athletes like Kristen Mbuma, Beatrice Masilingi, and Casta Semenya were made to abandon their preferred athletic events for other events. The issue is that if these athletes are men, why are they running against women in other distances? This is the great controversy. According to the rules, Barbara cannot play for the Zambia national team, but can continue to play her club football. In fact, Real Madrid Women Club is interested in signing her. In Africa, there are women who are actually manly, but that does not make them men. And there are also men who are, for lack of a better word, womanly, and it does not make them women. I believe this logic is not only exclusive to Africa, but also worldwide. It is a laughable nonsense to deem a woman ineligible to play women football because of high testosterone levels. Estrogen levels are generally dominant in women, but a man can have dominant estrogen level as well. Does that make him a woman? What do you think of this ruling? Let us know your thoughts and remember to like and subscribe to the channel.